Thanks, every, thanks everyone for being here tonight. Uh, my name is Hamish McDonald, and this is Deborah Adam Simmons, and we've been the, had the great privilege of being the co-chairs of the Lions Award uh, this year. It's decided by all of the Neiman Fellows, and it's been a fairly long uh, process. We're really grateful to all of you for coming. There's a really great combination of people from across the Harvard community, uh, and we're very appreciative of you all for, for making the effort to coming tonight. If I hadn't have written about it, who would? Said Yang Ji Sheng of The Great Leap Forward in his book, of his book, Tombstone, which we're all here tonight to honor. When the 2016 class of Neiman Fellows began the task of identifying candidates for this year's Lions Award, we needed to think really carefully about what constituted journalism of conscience and integrity. We looked at journalists and news outlets and journalism projects from right around the world, and all of which displayed those qualities. So what made Yang Jisheng and Tombstone stand out? As a reporter for China's official state news agency, Yang spent most of his career working inside the system. China's Communist Party sought to suppress information about the death toll from the famine, which lasted from 1958 to 1962. Officially, natural disasters in the Sino-Soviet split were cited as two key causes of the famine. Yang Jisheng refused to remain silent. And as a result of that, in 2008, he published the results of a decade-long investigation into the events of those years. He meticulously documented the deaths of millions of his countrymen and identifying Mao's misguided policies and the country's political system as the root causes for the disaster that took place. His book, Tombstone, is still today not widely available in China, although some people do have copies. In an inter interview in 2012 with Neiman Fellow Fabiano Masonave, uh, unpublished until today, Yang Jisheng said the title Tombstone has four meanings. The first is a tombstone to my father. The second is a tombstone for the 36 million who starved to death. The third is a tombstone to the regime which caused all the deaths. The fourth meaning is my own tombstone. When I wrote the book, I decided to face several risks. Through the determination and commitment required for this project, Mr. Yang clearly demonstrates the qualities of conscience and integrity. He provides inspiration to all of those who seek to document the truth in the face of influences, forces, and regimes that may push against such transparency. Obviously, Yang Jisheng is not here tonight to accept the award. The Neiman Fellows have developed the statement in response. The 2016 Neiman Fellows are disappointed that Chinese journalist Yang Jisheng was prevented from traveling in person to Harvard University to receive the Louis M. Lyons Award for Conscience and Integrity in Journalism. I think it goes without saying that his courage and persistence are inspiring, setting a powerful example of the influence that one journalist can have. He single-handedly catalogued a dark chapter of modern Chinese history. We note that the limit on Mr. Yang's travel and public attacks on his journalistic record have only, only served to further highlight the importance of his investigative work. Mr. Yang's writing continues to set a standard of journalistic excellence for us all. It is unfortunate that Mr. Yang is not here tonight. So we are delighted that we're able to welcome Yves Song and Stacey Mosa. Yves Song is a Chinese writer inspired by Tombstone who will accept the award on Mr. Yang's behalf. And Stacey Moser was the co-translator and co-editor of Tombstone and will deliver Mr. Yang's acceptance remarks. So in recognition of his ambitious and fearless reporting, Neiman Fellows in the class of 2016 at Harvard University have selected Chinese journalist and author Yang Jisheng for the Lewis M. Lyons Award for Conscience and Integrity in Journalism. Yang's work speaks to the efforts of every journalist globally who faces enormous obstacles in reporting. Now, more than ever, the world needs courageous and dedicated journalists like Yang Jisheng. He's a role model to all who seek to document the dark and difficult struggles of humankind. Yang Jisheng. 